So here we go then, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Game Day, the show, where the Cowie Army share their thoughts on all things town. We're here outside the valley as town take on Charlton Athletic in another League One clash. And of course, the Blues looking to avenge last year's bad performance here. Um, you've got to love a London away day. I want to go and speak to good old Segs and James for the team news. Let's go. OK, then, I'm joined by good old James and Segs. Team news drop, boys. James, we'll go over to you first. This is sort of your home game because you live nearby. Yep. Your thoughts, my friend? Uh, Jackson, John Jules. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's all changed again uh, from Tuesday night. We're... We've got the got the Pacey team back. It's going to be another counter-attacking performance. Great to see Morsey back in there, obviously, from his one-match suspension. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit more comfortable. I think it's a bit harsh on Cam Humphreys, but, uh, to be honest, I've, I've to be honest, I thought this was going to be the team there. Uh, Jackson, John Jules, a bit of a surprise. Uh, but, you know, McKenna likes to change it around. Six? Six, over to you, my friends. Um, you love a charting away day I hear yep. um, I'm not sure you're excited today what's your thoughts on the team news I'm quite happy with it obviously you know it is what it is McKenna he, he sets, his, sets his team up to play you know the way he wants to against every team so it's always going to be different we, we expect rotation a um, little bit disappointed for Humphreys of course had a good game on Tuesday also a bit disappointed for Edwards as well I thought he was really really good on Tuesday so um, for him to you know miss out on today you know, it's a bit of a shame but again he comes off the bench makes a big difference and um, you know we'll go from there um, John Jules up front, I think you know he'll be pretty decent. Um, shame, of, shame for Ladapo as well. I quite yeah. like Ladapo on Tuesday night, but you know we'll we'll go with it and see what happens. Um, you know I'm quite excited for the day. Like I said, yeah. love love a Charlton away day. Yeah. Love the badge in the background. You know it's just a great game, great great day here, great day out. Um, you know just hope we get another no hunt moment. Really. It shows the strength of our squad as well that yeah. you know we can leave players like Edwards on the bench, which who's been phenomenal in the last few weeks. So you know. We've always got options there, which is really good to see. And you don't normally get, we haven't had that in seasons past. So really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great day. Thanks, boys. Up a town. Town 4, Charlton 4. Don't know how to sum that game up, to be fair, but I'm here with Bloomers, my friend. Well, I you're going to ask me how to sum up, because I haven't got a clue yeah, either. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> what, what can you say, though, about today? You know, 2 up, 2-2, two, 4-2, two, two, then 4-4. Four, four. I mean, if someone said to me in the 90th minute it's going to end in a draw, I'd have been like, yeah, OK. I think it's the first... I, I've been to probably, let's say, 500 football games in my lifetime. That's conservative estimate I don't think I've ever seen four goals in injury time before um, well actually someone, someone on the camera said just before you got here Ross maybe that's the freak result of the season and and everyone get every club has that freak result in the season maybe that's ours that's a nice ish way of looking at it I guess one that makes me feel a little bit better but yeah I'm not this time or almost this time last year we, we were there were we not Ross yeah we were we were, we were standing there and I Blew a gasket, if you like. Uh, I'm not gonna blow a gasket tonight because I'm not. Um, well, I'm a little bit angry, but I'm not. I'm just more. I'm just confused more than anything. It's a bit of a bizarre one where the, the, one of the goalkeepers of the League One, unanimously, suddenly forgets how to be a goalkeeper for a half of football, and four crosses end in four goals. Or it, it seems to be every goal was either a cross that that went in or a, a shot that was fumbled and then went in. I I, I don't know. Um, Four good goals from us. Apparently, the second was offside from John Jules. Again, well, being in where we yeah. were, you can't you can't tell if it is or not. Fantastic endeavour to, to get back in front again. Times two because we got the insurance goal, but just a complete and utter lack of concentration. And I imagine uh, McKenna's going to be giving them absolute pelters in the dressing room after the game. You'd like to think so, but I don't know. We've got, we've got. What's going on here? Why were you there not? We go. Huh? Why did you not score the goal in there? Ian? Oh, Why were you not? Awesome. It's not against the Canary Cross. It's not, <laughs> you know I mean? it's not against the Canary Cross. No, you're not, you scoring Yeah, then. that's it. That's it. That's it. Are you right, yeah? Uh, yeah, but what's your thought about that, my friend? Uh, I mean, you should have got the three points. I mean, 4 2 up. A couple of minutes ago, just keep the ball in the corners. Just speak a bit naive just to try to go for a goal and then one ball into the box. 3 4 2. And then squeaky bum time, then, innit? So it's like, 
ended up getting another Go, fourth. Going back past the, the, the 90 minutes, though, the overall performance from Ipswich before the uh, injury time was pretty good, though, away from home against yeah, Chuck. Took, certainly took it to them. Yeah, we definitely t definitely took it to them. I just feel like we should have been more, been more careful. But overall, I think the performance was good. It's just the last couple of minutes, yeah. you know. But I think majority of the game, Ipswich was dominant. So, it's disappointing. I mean, my, my, my uh, game day has been completely <laughs> overshadowed now. I might as well walk away. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Cheers, Danny. Cheers. There okay. we go. Well, um, nice cameo. That's as crazy as the game. That's as crazy as the game. Good old Danny. Um, well, I would say, though, he, he was completely right, though. It is a bit naive to just shut up. Well, he, he says it's naive to shut up shop. When you fall to up with 95 minutes on the clock, it's not really, is it? I mean, everyone does that. But but what's the... the oh, I don't know. It is It's called... What, what do I say now? There's, there's nothing to well, say now. Thanks, Bloomers. Thanks, man. <laughs> wow, just breathe after seeing good old Danny Haynes, a canary crusher. But, Mark, back to the football. 4-4. You can't write this stuff. Probably the most mental game of football I've ever seen. I mean, I'm dripping sweat here. I've an absolute nervous wreck at times. But, yeah, I think it comes down to basics, really. You know, if you don't defend well, you're going to concede. And it was one of those days where, seemingly, everything Charlton threw at us seemed to go in the back of the net. Um, you know, it's a bit of pill to swallow that we've, you know, thrown away two two goal leads twice in the same game. You know, it, that's probably been our soft underbelly away from home at times, where we've threw a couple of leads away. You know, look at Plymouth, and Sheffield Wednesday. But you know, I, I don't think we're really at our best today. No. Um, you know, I think scoring four goals in a game really flattered us. If that finished four two, I think that really flattered us as a performance. I was so ready. I was I was so ready for Freddie, ready for Freddie, I don't even mean that, so ready for Freddie to, you know, save the day, I was going to, you know, Halloween, Freddy Krueger, I was, had it all written and Headline then, and everything yeah, we just threw it away at the end, you know, I mean, I don't want to throw him under the buses, but four buses down there here, is, yeah. um, but I don't think Christian Walt had the best game today and I think he knows that, you know, the first two goals parried straight back into the danger, good saves initially, but, you know, you, you've got to I think our defence is so used to him getting them yep. out and away that there wasn't really anyone there to, to clear the follow-up. And then, yeah, you know, the pressure mounted and mounted. We probably shouldn't have let it get that far. And, you know, there we are, 4-4. Four, four, and I think there's probably going to be a, a little bit of a meltdown. But I think most people probably would have been happy with a point at the start of the day. You look at it in the bigger picture, which we always need to do. We're still averaging over two points per game. You know, seven points from this... this well, eight games, eight day spell of Derby, Port Vale, and now Charlton. You probably would have took seven points. Maybe not the draw and the performance and the way it happened today, but on paper you probably would. So, yeah, it's disappointing. We're still second. You know, Exeter have got to go and increase that gap again yeah. tomorrow. Or was it Monday? I can't remember what day it is. But they've got a tough game. They've got Monday. a Derby. Yeah. Exeter will be right up for it. And yeah, um, we'll move on to Bracknell and hopefully we won't be as frustrated or disappointed by that. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Come next, I'm joined by good old James, my friend. How can you sum that up? Ipswich f***ing town, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it, to lose a two-goal lead from 2-0 up once is yeah. pretty awful. Uh, to lose it twice in the same game of football, as criminal. Yeah. Uh, coming away very deflated from that one. It's two weeks until the next uh, until the next league game as well, so we've got lots of time to stew over that. And it's going to be very frustrating couple of weeks without any league football. Like, uh, so much emotion in that game. There's so much euphoria in injury time when you score the third and fourth goals, and then to get pegged back like that and leave all depressed and deflated. It's just absolutely horrible. I, like. I, it's fine, it's, mate. It's fine. We're we're all lost for words, really, because it's it's another point on the board. But yeah, you know, it should have been three. Is it one of those games we we'll look back at, at the end of the season? What could have been if we don't get where we want to be? I think there's going to be questions at, and defensive practice over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So I really hope this is going to be the kick up the backside to basically be like we cannot take games for granted ever. We cannot take results for granted. Um, we need to see games out by by being more resilient, like. We've come away from home. You shouldn't concede four goals in a game and not get three. No, sorry. You shouldn't score four goals in a game and not get three points. So that's that's the real takeaway for me is that Walton was off his off his best in that second half. Especially, I think it was the second goal. It looked, looked just like it was parried out. 
it's just, yeah, it's, hor it's a horrible feeling right now, but it, this game will not define our season. Matty boy, we've had some great thoughts so far when Danny Haynes on. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was, that was really good. <laughs> it's really a highlight of the day now, really. Yeah, that's good. Um, eight goals, my friends, a lot of moments in the game. Takeaways. Take that is quite possibly one of the most baffling games of football that I've attended. I honestly still not entirely sure what just happened right in front of my eyes, especially that injury time. Um, it really, I'm, I'm not the first person to say this, and I doubt I'll be the last on this game day that it does feel like a loss. You know, I'd have, I'd have take, I, I predicted a win, um, but I would have taken a draw um, for this one. You know, point on the road away from home in a team in relatively in really good home form, uh, bar the Milton Keynes game on Tuesday. But um, to, to, to lose a two goal lead twice in a game, um, particularly having regained that in injury time, that is that is a concern. That is a real concern for me. And we've now, we've, we've dropped leads. The last two games, we've lost a two goal lead three times. Uh, obviously it happened against um, Sheffield Wednesday yeah. as well. Earlier in the season, I want to say there was another one, but it's Plymouth. Like Plymouth. No. Yeah, well, I suppose it wasn't a two-goal lead, but yeah, you know but what? yeah, same, so same sort of. Yeah, um, but yeah. Anyway, all right, back. We had distraction. Carry on, mate, friend. Yes, no worries. Um, yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, so it is. It is worrying. It is worrying that we're not seeing games out. We, we certainly at, at the first first two nil. You know, we're getting same as against Port Vale in a week. We're in control, and it's, it's it's sloppy goals we're conceding, and from from set pieces or crosses, um, and we, we've got to do something about it because we can't ship sort of six goals in in two games and go up as champions or automatically promoted. I still think we will go up in the top two. I still think Kieran McKenna will get it yep. sorted. Um, and I think we've also got to have a sense of perspective. That's seven points out of the last nine. We've beaten Derby. You know, we, we've gone through a little bit of adversity against Port Vale, you know. Um, but it is, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever again probably walk away from an away game having scored four goals and not seen Ipswich Town win. It's um, and um, a game management as well. We've got. To, I'm, I'm rambling a bit. I know Ross. That's why I carry on. Good content. <laughs> it's, it's, good content. Yeah, it's, it's, you got yeah. that sort of stream of consciousness. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, game management at four three. I mean, I, I missed Charlton's third goal because we were still celebrating. Yeah, <laughs> Morsey's goal. Morsey's sort of driven into the box again. Lapo sort of basically screaming for it in the corner. Morsey's looking at the headlines, you know, trying to get another goal. Um, and that's and it's, that's turned possession over, and, and eventually it's led to to to, to Charlton equalising again. Um, and yeah, we need to be doing better. Morsey needs to have a long look at himself for that. I'm I'm a big fan of Sammy Morsey, you know, but he, he, that was the wrong call to try and drive through um, uh, rather than just manage it and get it out in the corner. And I feel for Freddie Dapper as well. I mean, I, I I love Freddie almost as much as Mark does. I don't think anyone loves Freddie quite as much as yeah. as Mark does. But obviously he comes on. You know, I thought he looked really good when he came on, and certainly compared to him coming off the bench against Derby last week. And uh, We've got, uh, we've got some horses we here, got police horses. horses. Yeah, yeah Paul, pan, is... pan around, Paul. Um, some police horses just casually going past us. Um, <laughs> but your final word, my friend, before we go to the next person. Um, yeah, so we need to get a good reaction against Charlton. Obviously, we've got the Bracknell game next week in the FA Cup, but we need we need a, a good reaction at home against Charlton. And, you know, they're, they're there for the taking. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to say... Hopefully, Kieran's already thinking about what he's going to be doing and training on Monday. There we go. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, up next, I'm joined by good old Segs, my friend. We've changed locations. Um, we can now see the stand behind us. We were in a bit of a dodgy spot. We were, I kept tripping over. But enough of that, my friend. Um, town tripped up today. 4 till yeah. up, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I'm not not too impressed. I'm over here at Bloomer Star My Line. Uh, before before game day was being filmed, I said this is a bit of a freak result. You know, everyone gets a freak result this season. This is our freak result. Um, so yeah, that's that's my line, not Bloomers. And also Bloomers getting Danny Hayes a shot. I was going to ask Danny if he wants to come and shot with me, oh. and he's, he's stolen that as well. So bloody uh, to Bloomers. To be fair, it was me. It was me who was going. Come on, Danny, come and bring him, bring him. But yeah, yeah, anyway, to the game. Yeah, yes. yeah what a trip up. You know, twice two goals up. Twice we've we've thrown it away. I don't know. I, I can't really put into words what has happened there. It's, Mental. Um, it's a freak was, result, isn't it? Yeah, it's a freak result, yeah. And to four goals in injury time, how many times does that happen? Um, that was crazy, crazy to have to see that. Um, you know, the, to be fair, the whistle should have been blown before their fourth, um, arguably before their third. So, you know, 
I'm not going to blame the ref because we've done it enough this season and you know our defending was Danny's drawing past go on, Danny, Danny again yeah, so. Danny. That's, that's Danny's horn in the background there yeah. so <laughs> anyway yeah so um, you know to, to lose like that or to draw like that it's just it's not uh, good to enough. be fair that's what it means it does feel, like, like, a defeat. It feels like a defeat yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah um, but yeah in, in terms of the game I thought we played well first half um, you know we were quite professional first half good, good, good performance um, get a goal for half time you know, got rattled Come out second half, score again, two 0 You think, oh yeah, this, this is going our way. Um, then all of a sudden, we we all of a sudden turn into a bit of a Sunday League team, and we let two goals in. I, you know, you can't criticise Walton because he is he is going to get us. A, a few, this car's coming. Carry on. He's going to get us a, get us a few points. You know, he's going to save us a few points this season um, with the way he, you know, the clean sheets and the saves that he makes. But today, you know, he he has cost us a little bit today, especially the second goal. Um, he palmed it out and it's straight into their you know their player. So. I'm not going to criticise him too much because you know he he is a he's vital for us. But today, like you know, if it wasn't for that, we we, we could be coming away with three points. Yeah. Um, so it is what it is. Like I say, it's a freak result. I just just can't get over how how we we come away with a point. You know, we're four two up in the sixth minute or four fifth minute. You know, the whistle should have been gone. Um, I know two goals or three goals and subs we've brought on Keo, so obviously that that makes a difference in time. You know, potentially two more minutes added yeah. on, but. You know, we still shouldn't be letting two goals in like that when you're 4-2 up. Um, feel sorry for the depot. Um, good when he came on, get a goal like that. You know, um, I've been quite quite looking forward to coming on here and sending a depot goal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you know, um, it's, it's just one of those games. A freak result. It happens. Um, not not too impressed by it, but we, we'll, you know, I'm sure McKenna will sort them out and look at this game and say what you did wrong and um, sort of put it right. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, we shall see. Top man. Yes, it's man. a shame though because I love I love coming here. Yeah, me too. Two, two seasons in a row now where we've just, oh, no. it just has, hasn't Packed worked away and yeah. celebrations yeah. are unbelievable but you know it just it, ha it happens yeah we, we go we move on and finally and this has been a mammoth game day but some good thoughts of course Danny Haynes horses everything been going on eight goals Liam from crew always a pleasure my friends how do you sum up to end the game day today uh, are there any words in any language that can sum that up uh, I don't think I've seen anything like that before um, I mean, where, where, where do we start? I mean, there's a whistle going off in the uh, yeah. opposite end of the ground, which uh, cost us a, a goal in the first half, pretty much. Uh, the manager's going loco and gets sent off in the second half. And then we haven't even spoken about the goal. So um, I, I literally do not know what happened to be two goals up twice. Yeah. And I mean, the second time is criminal because it's two goals in stoppage time. And then to concede... It, it, it's just strange. Charlton created absolutely nothing apart from four crosses, and, and that's a little bit of a worry at the moment. That's for Port Vale on uh, Tuesday night. It was exactly the same. It was just literally crosses into the box, not dealt with, and they've got goals from it, uh, and that's four crosses today because every goal came pretty much from a cross, apart from the second one, which Walton fluffed, but Harness uh, was... Uh, was, uh, Hi James, who yeah. appeared earlier, he's now going, <laughs> there we go. Um, Harness giving the ball away again, but literally just naivety at the end. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're always vulnerable when you score, aren't you? And I literally did not, ex don't even think Charlton expected the no. third goal because their scoreboard still said 4-2 when they kicked off again. Um, I think they just literally went straight to four when they got the, the equaliser. I, 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 I don't know how to sum it up. I feel like um, someone has run up to me, slapped me in the face and then run off me with my wallet. <laughs> I just feel like I've been mugged, yeah. <laughs> literally. I mean, you, you get what you pay for. I mean, that, that yeah. you, you can't complain about that entertainment-wise, but um, I don't really know how I feel <laughs> about that result, to be honest, because it was three points twice in the bag and we've, we've let it go. So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to go home now and... and wallow I think <laughs> I think we all are um, thanks again for watching game day thanks Liam thanks everyone who joined me and uh, yeah bring on Bracknell bye bye for now